Hello again, everyone. Queen Rain here. And today we're going to be doing, uh... There's a force field down there. Anyway, today we're going to be doing... We're starting up with Brimspark, and we're going to be doing, um... We're on Brimspark 1, Firewalker Mine. So, here we go. Um, okay, number one, when you go through Lava Falls, it will damage your shields by one point. So be sure not just dawdling them. That's the uh, turn racer. Whoa. Okay. Well, that was certainly strange. I've never had him do that before. say on this level right now, just picking up the keys. And the main thing you want to watch out for when you're going through this area is that there's a lot of open nooks and crannies, and lots and lots of lava. And there's a lot of shield scratchers in the area too. Um, these are the uh, Hornet bots, those are the turn racer. The Hornet bots aren't too bad by themselves, but if they're in a, say, in a large group, they can be sort of nasty to deal with. Um, you just, you want to try to watch out for groups of them. Butts around here somewhere. I can hear him calling out, but I can't see his butt. Right. A lot of diamond claws in the uh, Grim Spark levels. The original purpose of the diamond claw in its first incarnation in Descent 1 was to throw through sea molten rock. So, naturally, find a lot of semi-molten rock in an area that has to do with molten rock. Which is sort of a shot here. Ah. The thief bot has swiped my uh, quad laser. Try to do this switch here. I'm usually not too concerned about the thief bot because even if he does grab something, I can always get it back from him. A lot of cloak shield scrappers in this room. Try to engage them in front of the lava so that you can see their shat, their little ghostly shadowy outline and uh, kill them. This room it winds up being one of those where there's like five different secrets within one. Again, when you're when you're firing the uh, guided missiles, be, be real sure that you're not going to backstop it on something that's going to make it blow up in your face. Got to get out of this room. That switch over there. Because this door here locks behind you. That door is locked, however. Okay. Now that we've explored the secret some, we can uh, move on. Oh, there's the uh, thief bot again. I'm mostly just going to ignore him for the most part. I mean, he, he decides he wants more of my 
equipment. He can certainly find out the hard way not to take it from me. That can be sort of a tricky shot to make, so that's why I'm in silent. All right, now that I've gotten all the loot up there, grab this poking device. Check the map. You'll notice that this level is fairly large. Um, this presents a problem sometimes. Mostly just recording like. Tracer's only real advantage over um, other robots is shooting at me is that uh, they can fire rapidly and they're fairly tough. However, their size is somewhat of a downfall by itself. Glad of this level loops back on itself. I've always wondered if there was a tunnel that was too small for, you, for um, robots to go through. I think I just hit a mine. But in order for that to happen, if the uh, but anyway, in order for um, a robot not to be able to get through a tunnel, the uh, Pyro GX would also have to not be able to get through it. We encounter one, the first of one of many heavy type bots. This is a, uh, that's a big fatty. We picked up the Phoenix Cannon, which is essentially a more powerful version of the plasma cannon. Although, as you can see, the shots reflect, and they will hurt you if they collide with you, making it sort of a dangerous weapon in uh, enclosed spaces. I avoid using it as much as possible. My field is way low for that. I have been doing some thinking, and I believe I will take the time to put together a compilation video of me using all the different weapons so you guys can see what they look like. Um, you know, just the weapons that I, I don't use on a regular basis or ones that I have a very specific use for. Um, speak about again. Getting on my nerves today. Don't know why. He, uh. Field scratcher. The thief butt really wants to steal my stuff today. I know I'm sort of avoiding getting the yellow key right this second, but. I have a reason for that. I, I want to try to go through and explore as much of the level as possible.
There is a rather large multitude of secret hatches on the Brimspark levels. So, 